Hey loves, it's Mandy here. Something I wanted to start doing each week for y'all was recapping National Wake Up Call. Um, doing this for a couple of reasons. For one, it's going to make sure that I'm listening to National Wake Up Call. And for two, it's going to make sure that if you don't have a full 30 minutes to devote to listening to National Wake Up Call, at least you're listening to this condensed version of that. Today's call was all about the Power Hour and it was hosted by Stephanie Chico. And um, she's been in this business for almost three years. Her story is amazing from being in debt, having to sell their house on short sale, um, having to sell their car, everything like that, to now um, being in the process of building a new home, getting a second chance, um, having three kids in three years, and needing to provide um, the life that she've always envisioned for her kids. Um, she dug deep into this business by just starting in a basic challenge group, wanting to lose the post um, pregnancy weight <laughs> from having those three kids back to back. Um, and in doing that, she sort of just realized there was an opportunity. She then um, went to the Success Club trip in 2013, which was in Disney World, and sort of just realized that this is a real opportunity. She went as a guest. She didn't earn her trip for free that year. Um, but since being a coach, she sponsored um, 50 lifetime diamond <laughs> coaches. So girl knows what she's doing. And because she has those three kids, she also knows that she doesn't have all the time in the world. And so she wanted to create a system that if she only had an hour, at least that hour would help her grow her business each day. And so she sort of gave five things that she does to help grow her business. And I'm going to um, review those for you. But power hour, basically how she defines it is your hour in which you're most productive with your business. And she loves this. And I love the idea of it because you know what to expect every single day when you go to work with your Beachbody um, business. And it can be really customized to any schedule that there is out there. Um, for, for moms, because she is a mom, she, her big tips on when you can do this power hours when your kids are napping or when they're going to bed. <laughs> um, and then for those who, who work a lot, she said that um, just do it as soon as you get home from work because you're still in that work um, mentality if you can't. And so um, the number one thing that she does out of the five things is that she's creating, um, or the five, it's not the number one thing that she does. Number one thing that she does for her business is the power hour. But the first one of the five things that she does each day is creating content for the days to come. And so this means creating valuable content. So a lot of times we're on the go and we get these ideas of what we want to post. But we don't ever have like a place where we keep all those ideas. Um, and so like for me personally, I have a note. I use the note section in my iPhone whenever I, I have those light bulb moments and I put them in there and so I know in the future when I'm I'm sort of like absent for what I should post right now I can just go to I call it my brainstorm folder and just post it in there if you will um she uses bufferapp.com some people use Hootsuite and so that way you can actually schedule your post ahead of time by using those applications and resources I personally use Hootsuite um I'm, I don't even know what bufferapp.com is <laughs> because I just learned about it. So I'm excited to go see what that is. And so basically this is, um, you know, like any content that you're going to put in your challenge groups, on your Instagram, your Facebook, your YouTube, your Periscope, whatever social media platform you're using, going ahead and creating that content for you so you're not having to think about it on spot and using that time in your day for that. And the second thing she does is checking in on her challenge group. So creating um, a motivational quote, checking in with the challengers, answering any questions that they have um, in the group, um, and then making templates that gauge a lot of engagement. So I thought this was super helpful, like aha moment for me, was that any post that she posts in her challenge group that gauges lots of engagement from everybody in there, she goes and puts those in a template and uses them for future challenge groups because naturally if it gets lots of engagement with one group, it's most likely going to get lots of engagement with another group. Um, so I loved that. So excited that she shared that tip. Um, there's Baxter in the back. He just woke up from his nap. Um, that's the third thing that she does is she is adding something to her team page. And she sort of said when she was a new coach, even if she didn't have her own team page yet, that she was still adding um, something to her coach's team page. So if she had an awesome phone call with somebody, she would talk about 
how that phone call went, if she saw the challenge pack, she talked about how that experience went for her. If she's talking to a potential coach, she shared that. So she's always sharing something with her team and being present with her team, which then allows them to know you're accessible. Um, so I, I love that, and I'm going to try to do that more with y'all. The fourth thing she does is work on relationship building. And so this is done, um, one of her things that I just loved, she termed it, hey girl messages. And so we know that we're supposed to be adding people to our network every day. So this might be on Instagram, um, that's my platform of choice. Um, and this is just simply like when you become friends with a new person and you see that they're into health and fitness and you do a little stalking on them and you see what they're into. So maybe they're into yoga and they're into cooking and they have kids and you just send them like, hey girl, um, love your Love your Instagram page. Thanks for accepting uh, my quest. Thanks for following me back. And I just wanted to let you know that um, that your yoga poses are really awesome. You know, like how long have you been doing yoga for? And just like that, you get a conversation going. Um, her example was that um, she was on Facebook and she would go and look at all the mutual friends that you have with one of your friends. And if there's a good amount of mutual friends, she would friend request them and then do a little bit of stalking and then look at some of the things and so maybe they're they're they have a beautiful family and kids and so she would send a message like hey girl thanks so much for accepting my friend request you have a beautiful family how old are your kids um and then just go from there and from adding you know a couple of people a day um to your social network that's 900 to 150 people a month that you're adding that are going to see new content so that's awesome for you love that little um stat that she provided and then the fifth thing that she does is return all messages and follow-ups um this is something that we all fear <laughs> is the follow-up but that's sometimes where your business is um and so that's returning all messages making sure that your your inbox is at zero if that's possible sometimes we just have so many messages that we can't get it to zero but making that that inbox for your beach body emails and potential clients and customers and coaches as low as possible. And then following up with those um, people, maybe they didn't respond um, back to you and just reaching out saying like, hey, um, last time we talked to you showed a lot of interest in joining the upcoming group. Just want to let you know um, the last day for you for you to um, purchase your, your challenge pack and to make sure that there's a spot saved for you is tomorrow. You know, I, I really hope that it's something you're still wanting to do. I can't wait to help you reach your goals, whatever. Or it could just be a simple follow up and a message that was like, oh, hey, you know, I was thinking about you today. Just wanted to check in and see how your weekend was question mark, <laughs> something open ended so that they're going to talk back to you and have a way to get back to you and communicate with you and basically that was national um wake up call um she again with all these things is is doing three things which was pointed out on the call which was being intentful purposeful and thoughtful in the things that she's doing to help grow her business every day and i loved a quote that she said which is just to notice that things might not be happening right now but the harvest is coming. We hear a lot of times the reference and analogy of planting seeds and watching them grow. Um, but I love the idea that the harvest is coming. Um, so as long as you're doing this power hour every single day consistently and growing your business, the harvest is going to come. And so that was the summary of National um, Wake Up Call. Um, I'm sure if you listen to, to other people's and, and their nuggets, they might have got different things, but that's what I got. Um, very, very um, honored to be able to listen to this every single day and to be able to share with y'all my little summary. So I hope y'all have a good day, whatever it is you're doing. Be awesome and let me know what um, your takeaways were from National um, Wake Up Call or this summary. Love you and God bless. Bye.